Right, back up, back up, back up. You do not want to buy a 15-inch laptop until you hear what I've got to say. Woof. All right, champs, let's get rid of Windows Home and let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. New codes, new discount. You can get Windows Professional Office. Paste my code. Boom. It's Windows Pro time. Righto, tell you other champs now. Don't buy it. Do not buy it now, 15 inch laptop. You do not want to buy one now until you hear this. You need to hear this. Ninth generation CPUs, 100% guaranteed are coming out sooner, sooner rather than later. And I'm talking the next three months. And I was one of those people that bought the MacBook Pro with the Radeon 560 graphics. And then a couple of months later, Apple goes, oh, we'll put some Vega graphics in those. And yeah, that was not a good feeling. Guys, I'm always going to keep you in the loop on this. If I know something, I'm going to let you know. So please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe because I will tell you. So I have heard from a little birdie. Well, someone in the know, and this is definite 100% sure. So if you're thinking of buying any of these gaming laptops, you know, your RTX laptops, your Razer, your Alienware M15, M17, your Gigabyte Aero, even if you want to buy an XPS 15 or a MacBook Pro, do not buy it until you at least find out what's going to happen. You might just want to hold off because these ninth generation CPUs possibly could be eight cores. Now, I don't know if they're going to be 100% for sure eight cores, but if they follow the desktops like they usually do, we're probably going to get eight core laptops. Now, it could be possible that it won't be eight cores. They will be the current, you know, six cores. They just refine the clocks, thermals, you know, make it a bit more efficient so it's a bit better with heat, uh, maybe some performance gains, battery life gains, and, you know, get a higher clock out of these CPUs. That is the bare minimum we can expect. But again, it is possible that there will be an extra two cores. So is this going to make a big difference if you buy these laptops now? Well, it depends what your workflow is. I can say for me, extra two cores I don't know that it actually would benefit me that much because I hardware encode when I export, which doesn't use 100% of the CPU, but in playback situations, yes, it could benefit me. But in my workflow now with 4K content I use, I can play back at full anyway. So it's not going to probably benefit me at all. For gamers, yes, probably will. We'll probably get some higher clocks, some you know higher clocks at slightly lower temperatures. It should be able to give you a boost in gaming. It's not so much the extra two cores. The extra two cores won't really give you that much benefit for gaming, but I expect higher clocks at lower temperatures. It might be only a little bit of a boost, but I do expect with gaming, you will still get a bit of a boost there. Now, my best guess on when these are going to come out is just before Computex. So Computex is in May, May 26 to June the 1st. So I expect an announcement. This is just my best guess. I know 100% for sure to come in within the next three, four months. My best guess is Computex announced in May, shipping in June. Now, like a numner, I sold my XPS 15 and um, tears are coming out of my eyes. I sold it, you know, before CES because I thought they'd make an announcement at CES for the XPS 15, which they didn't. In March, they're coming out with an OLED display for the XPS 15. But when are they going to introduce the new one? Would it be May, June? Maybe, maybe coincide with these new ninth generation CPUs. It could be the 1160 or it could be, you know, a 2050 or something like that. That is just speculation, but the CPUs 100% are coming out sooner rather than later. So it is possible you buy now, it'll be out of date within three months, your CPU. Now, as I said, it's going to depend on your workflow, whether it will really matter. I'm just giving you the information now so you can make an informed purchase decision. What will also happen is when these new CPUs come out, they'll just fit them in the current laptop. So all these current laptops, you know, the Alienwares, the Razors, the Aero 15s with the RTX graphics, they will just be fitted with these new processors. They'll just plonk them in there. They probably won't have a new launch. It'll be just a CPU refresh. So then what happens is those eighth generation, the current ones you can buy now, they will actually reduce in price. So it may even be just wait so you can get a better deal on the current 15 inch laptops that are out now. Because I'm a small channel and I've got limited funds, I don't make any money off this YouTube channel at all. You know, I'm well in the red, like I spend more than I actually earn on this channel. So hey, you can support me on Patreon or, you know, give me a donation, whatever. Links are in the description. But the point is I always try to time my sales before the new one comes out. And sometimes I'll get bitten like the XPS 15. And I'm thinking about selling the Mac now, but with the Mac, you know, they usually take a while 
while to update their CPUs compared to the Windows competitors, which basically as soon as the CPU comes out, they release products with those CPUs straight away. Apple, they don't do that. Could be waiting a while. It may be the end of the year, maybe early next year. You don't know. So it's a bit hard for me to sell the i9 I currently have now, the MacBook Pro, because I don't trust that Apple will release a new one this year. Whereas I know with these PCs, 100% for sure, by summer, you will have new ninth generation CPUs in PCs. Because once the new model comes out, you already know the value of your current, like last generation model plummets and you could be losing anywhere from 500 you know, to $1,000 just because the new model's out, especially with the PC. You know, with the Mac, you still get a good resale, but that has dwindled. I'll tell you now, now the Macs are so expensive. Like if you pay 6K for a Mac, you'll be lucky if you get four. So you'll take a 2K haircut there. So anyway, I'll just keep you in the loop, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And until next time, guys, tally ho.